Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a love message, love reading for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the sign of Sagittarius, okay? In today's reading, Sagittarius, we will be looking into the feelings of your person, okay? So I'm going to shuffle these cards in too many S, too many S, too many Sagittarius. Um, I will shuffle this deck and I want you to think about your person, think about your romantic situation and let us see what is their current feelings towards you and what is their next action for you in the month of end of September going towards the month of October. Okay, I want to be specific. Okay, let's start the reading. What is their current feelings towards you? What is their current feelings towards you, Sagittarius? How do you feel about you? How do you think about you? The person that is on your mind right now. Their current feelings towards you. What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? Two of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. The Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Um, you have the Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Chariot card. Let me just do an energy check in for you, Sagittarius, because I feel like, why are you giving up? The question is, you're thinking about them, and yet you're giving up. Eight of Cups. It could be a romantic situation last two weeks last two days maybe more there was something around the month of august yeah i feel like you really like this person you know uh eight of cups i really feel like you want this person you really like them you want them there's an ace of cups in here so you did you want to take a risk. You know, love is a risk. No risk, no story. Depending on who, who is it and how worth it it is. But it's too early. I'm kind of picking up the vibe that you might have... You might have exited something before the finish line. Because there is an Ace of Cups in here. This is you, okay? I'm going to go to your person. Yeah, Ten of Cups. What is wrong, Sagittarius? What's going on? Are you holding back? The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups. If I ask you, do you like this person? Yes. Are you in love with this person? Yes. Do they make you happy? Yes. So why did you give up? I'm also picking up that the Two of Wands, a chariot card. You switch. You know, there was something in here that... Um, Eight of Cups, you walk away. Three of Wands, then you want them back. And the Chariot card, then you don't want them again. So if I was your therapist, if I your, if I was your spiritual coach, I'm gonna confuse. I'm gonna be confused to you because you want it, you don't want it, and then you want it. So if I was your frequency, like if I was the one who's moving your frequency, you, you want it here. Oh, you want it here. Oh, you want it here. So I'm going to be confused too. If I was your person, Sagittarius, I'm confused with you. You've got a justice card in here. Yes. Um, the question is, this is Libra season. Okay. Okay. Listen to me, Sagittarius. There is a person that is on your mind. The person that is on your mind right now, I can sense 
that you somehow misbehave okay i'm not blaming you i'm just calling out that you might have acted immaturely you might have acted to push them away maybe some jealousy playing hard to get playing cupid i wouldn't say it's normal sometimes we do that because you know we're not ready or we, you've got some triggers and i believe your person is also not perfect they also acted or misbehaved okay there is immaturity and a lot of manipulation but there is also a lot of happiness and compatibility there's a lot of immaturity and there's also a lot of happiness in here Sagittarius now so we've entered the Libra season okay because I'm channeling because I'm doing the read lately I'm doing the okay we're entering the Libra season exiting the September month and finally, you know, there's very few planet that is in retrograde. I think there is still a bit of them. Um, then eclipse season, I think. Now we're entering October month. So with the Libra season for you, that very person that you're running away or pushing back or the one that you you love so much but you misbehave, they're coming back for you, Sagittarius. They are coming back for you. Like, the universe is sending this person back for justice. Like, the universe, okay, Sag, you misbehave. I'm going to send you back this person to correct your behavior. Okay? You misbehave. Look at that, justice card. If I was your fairy godmother... You, Sagittarius, you misbehave. I know you like this person. I know you love them. I'm your fairy godmother. I will help you get this person back. But you promise me you have to behave the most mature, the most charming, and don't exit Five of Pentacles. It's going to happen soon. Early part of October, there was a person. There was a person in your life. You misbehave. <laughs> You misbehave. I do that too. You know, sometimes I play Cupid. I play stupid. I'm not perfect. I'm only human. Look at the four of wands. So, the current feelings of your person is that, can we be friends? Because I misbehave too. The thing about this person is that you can critic them for being, I don't know, misbehave, maybe on and off. But they're meant to come into your life again, the four of wands. They actually miss you. You're their other half. Okay? Look at that. This is the four of wands. This is the two of wands. So, this is your person. They're looking into the internet. They have two of wands. And they want to merge these two of wands to you. So, they're looking at the internet. They're looking at your photo. They're looking at you. Looking at you. Look at, looking at you. And they're wondering why did you exit left? Or why did I leave you? The more they look at you. I mean, whoever this person is, you let them stalk you. <laughs> this is a person, this is a person, Sagittarius, let them stalk you. Because if they stalk you, they will talk to you. Stalk you and talking to you soon. They will stalk, they will stalk you and lurk around. And every time they look at your photos, what you do, your smile, your comment, the more they, the more they miss you. So stalking and talking to you soon. Like this is, I'm stalking you and I'll talk to you soon. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the moon card. They're very confused. Sagittarius, this person is very confused because why did I leave you? Why did I give up? This person is looking at your photo. This person is looking at your photo. This person is looking at the last messages. They have ways to find where you are, what you look like right now. Maybe you've got common friends, but they're quite sad that you guys separated or disconnected. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You know, this person, they have an injury. Like during the time that you were, I think at some point they shared that they had an injury. They went to the hospital. I don't think they have cancer, but they have like an injury that they've told you or bandage. 
that they shared. Maybe you took care of them. And you know what? More than the romantic energy, they really find you. They really find a lot of nice feelings. They find a very nice feelings towards you, Sagittarius. Whoever this person is, it's not just romantic. It's also very, very best friend. They can depend on you. They find you very caring, that you could look after them. They can, they can be who they are, you know, because I, I feel like this moon card, they can be moody and they can have tantrums and you can pacify them. So they don't just like you romantically, but you, they also like your total package, your look, your the way you live your life, the way the way you take care of other people. They find you very, very caring. Yeah. Like, they somehow this person, they can really feel how intense you are in terms of loving and how you bear your soul to the people you love, including them. And that might have, I would say, that might have pressure or they felt the pressure of your intensity. You know, like maybe the hot and cold. Um, they've got some, they have got a little bit of guard. Like they're quite not ready to be vulnerable, vulnerable when you were dating. You know, they don't want to get hurt. But because of the whole shenanigans of you maybe breaking up, them breaking up. or There was a falling apart in here. They, they're, they're very, very disappointed. Because the hidden energy is Knight of Cups. This person is deciding end of September, they're very intensely deciding that, okay, end of September, I'm deciding that I should go back to the Sagitt to Sagittarius. No more playing hard to get, no more playing Cupid, just plain simple, just love. I feel like they're scared in the past to be vulnerable. You're quite a very powerful person as well, influence. But then they realize that more than love, you know, more than the romantic, they're very, very comfortable with you. So if they're very comfortable with you and you're comfortable with them, like this is a very extraordinary kind of connection that they can be vulnerable, the Knight of Cups. Yes, they can talk to you for hours. They can talk about friends or family, their ambition. And you're going to listen, you're going to laugh, you're going to critic, then you're going to advise they love everything conversation about you, Sagittarius. They miss that. I think this person, they've gone through some sort of dating. Maybe they've other... Because I'm kind of picking up that maybe they've talked to other people. Maybe they dated. Maybe they've got someone. But they're coming single to me now. But they've never felt the way, how comfortable they are. It, it is comforted. Like... To be with you, it's very comforting. It's very comfortable. It's very unique. Like you make them feel so special. That's why they're kind of disappointed that they try to date this, they try to date that, or they do this, and they never felt the completeness. They only felt that belonging and completeness with you, Sagittarius. They're moving. Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups. The month of October, it's going to be your month. Because I feel like this end of September, with the full moon and everything, the, the, the end of September, it's where they actually collect. You know, like this person is collecting the data, collecting the information, collecting the feelings, mixing it up all together and coming up with a decisive, solid, that I'm going to move. The most that they regret is not giving it all, Sagittarius. So Nine of Cups, somehow this person is going to shake it off. Like they're going to shake off the drama, the playing hard to get, the playing Cupid. And they will be as comfortable and vulnerable. And this person's like, I don't care if you're going to reject me. It's fine. Nobody's perfect. But it doesn't mean that I cannot offer it to you. So... Forget about rejection. Let me offer it before I... Like this is a person who... Let me move towards you and re-offer it, Sagittarius, before I think of rejection. Nine of Cups. It's a person who, before I think of the problem, let me do it first. 
like it's it's a because the nine of clubs is also eating drinking so let me ask you for a date before i think of rejection let me ask you first you know because they're kind of thinking that they will be rejected well i haven't asked you so let me ask you let me do it first before i think of rejection before i think of failure because they're kind of preempting that it will fail or rejection so let me do it first and if i get rejected then i'd have to tweak and try again but right now let me do it first you know they're very decisive and also very excited two of swords yeah eight of wands nothing can stop them because eight and eight i was like oh why do you have a two of swords no nothing can stop me like there's a lot of things and people and situation that has stopped them from being with you so the month of october this is like no one can stop me reject me i'll come back reject me i'll come back reject me i'll try again i've lost you once i'm not gonna lose you again sagittarius yeah they're ready for rejection they want commitment and they know that a commitment is something they want a traditional commitment this is a person who they want a traditional commit they want marriage they want marriage and there's no one they think of marrying or long term but you they're they're so full of regret because of losing you so this move it's something that this is the move this is a very sure move Sagittarius for them the Hierophant card yeah they're sure about it now they have to lose you to have this mindset Sagittarius So this is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, click the bell, click subscribe. I will see you soon. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.